Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am obviously here for a diamond painting unboxing and this is from a brand new company that reached out to me that I am so excited to introduce to you guys. So obviously this is fully sealed, so I'm gonna start opening it while I talk. This is probably gonna be a terrible idea because I'm not good at multitasking, but this is from Crafties, um, which specializes in diamond paintings and paint by numbers. That's starting to be a common trend that you can get both. Um, so whenever a company reaches out to me and wants me to do a uh, video featuring their product, the number one thing that I am adamant about having on my channel is a company that licenses their artists. And this one does that. Uh, so that was a yes from me. Um, and then I look at their website and see if it's gonna be like good quality and or if they have artists or art styles that I personally like. Um, and this one was a go. So the box is a little, little smushed, but it, it had a rough travel period. Oh, this is actually not terrible. So this is the brand Crafties. Um, I will leave all of the links. I do have a 20% discount code for you guys and their pricing is already pretty good. So I will leave those links down in the description. Full transparency, it is an affiliate link, which means I get a very small percentage of sales used from that link. Um, so that's exciting, but this is the company and they license all of their artists. And I personally really like the style that they have. Now I do believe that um, their kits, oh, this is what's included in everything. So you get the canvas, you get the diamonds. I do know that I think they only do round kits. Um, a tray, two applicators, tw two applicators, interesting, tweezers and applicator gums, AKA the wax. Um, with each order you place, you support an artist. This is basically what I want to support on my channel. So suitable for ages five and above. Oh, thank God. Fun also for people at the age of 90. Wow. Good thing I'm in this range. Um, art created by independent and hardworking artists. So let's get into it and let's see what it looks like. I am very excited. I did get to choose the kit, so I was very excited for that. So, ooh, ooh, that looks super clear already. Already a big fan of what it looks like. Um, and that is everything that is in the box. So it looks like they actually have their own branded canvas here. So let's take a look at what it looks like. From what I can see, all of the symbols are crystal clear. So I'm a big fan of that already off the bat. And let's take a look-see. Um, so I do know that all of their canvases are poured glue. So that's exciting. Oh, there's all of the stuff. We'll get to that in a second. I just want to take a look at this. So I chose this piece. This is Flowering Skull. It just looks stunning to me. Look at it. It is so my style. I love botanical stuff. I love floral things, but I also like really dark stuff. Like that's my blend is like pretty, but also kind of macabre. This is that. Um, it was between this one and they have a jellyfish one. I'll put it on screen. I love the jellyfish one that they had, um, but I just really like this aesthetic. Um, and I like the pattern that's in the background. I wasn't sure if this was all gonna be like one solid color as the background piece, cause this is a full drill piece, but I like the pattern that's through here. Cause you can see all of the foliage. And if we go up here, this has 27 colors um, and it is a 45 by 55 size. So this includes um, your inventory, the image, the size, and the name of the artist. The artist is Ali Gulick, I want to say is how you say it. That's cool. I like that they include the artist directly on the canvas itself too. And in case you didn't know, here's their socials. Okay, let's get to the stuff. So here is our kit. We do get two placers. Interesting. Oh, and they already have different multi-placers. Cool. So let's take a look at this. Okay, let's dump it all out. We have two applicators, that's really exciting. And they both have single placers on one end and then the other end already has two different size multi-placers. So this looks like a five or a six and this looks like a three, which are my go-to sizes. So that's kind of convenient. And we have two squishies, one for each. That is so convenient, I like it. I'm a fan of squishies. They bring me back to like my school store days. So we have that, we have two of the standard pink pads of wax, we have tweezers that are not deadly weapons. I appreciate that. Um, and they are, boop, boop, they're just basic metal tweezers. Oh God, we're dropping things. We're back though. And your basic little white tray. Um, I have millions of these at this point. So that is your standard kit. So you do have all of the tools you need to complete the painting. Now let's get to the drills. Let's see how the quality is on these. From what I'm seeing already, I am a fan. They look good. I don't see, <gasps> ooh, 
There are rhinestone. Oh, that's totally glare. You guys can't even see that. But there are rhinestone ones. That's exciting. Okay, let me take a look. See at these. Okay. So these are, oh my God, look how much baby pink there is. Okay, let's start looking at colors. So like I said, there are 27 colors on the legend. So we are going to start with this dark plum purple. I am not sure if these are DMC. Uh, actually, all of them, I don't see any codes on them. It just has one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to go with these are not DMC codes because uh, they all say DP1014, which I think is the model number. And 1022, I don't know what that means as well. Is that the date they were made? Who knows? Okay, so anyway, I guess we'll just go through and I'll just describe the colors to you like the professional that I am. So we have this dark plum color, lovely. Only a tiny bit of black, that's much appreciated. Uh, looks like we have two of this like taupey, I don't know, grayish, tannish, beigeish color. Oh God, this is gonna be great. I'm, I'm so excited for you guys to hear my description. But look at this, look, look at this. We have some rhinestones. So, okay, so I think their website said something about ABs. I wonder if they consider this an AB. It's definitely not an AB, but it is a rhinestone. So this is like a magenta pink color. And these are gonna be like extra blingy. So they don't have like the iridescent coating that most ABs do. These are just gonna look like actual like gems, if you know what I'm saying. So we have that. Oh, I guess I don't need to show you the labels. We can just show you the back. So it looks like we have a slightly grayer version of this color. <laughs> a nice corally salmon color. A slightly lighter corally salmon color. A lovely seafoam green, if you will. We have a ton of the baby pink. That's going to be our main color. Oh my gosh, we have, how many is that? Six? 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 Yeah, it's a lot. We have like this dark mustardy color. We have a slightly lighter mustardy color. And then we're into like a banana yellow. And then more like salmon pinky colors. A slightly lighter version. Oh god, I'm a professional in this field. I know. Uh, so on to the second strip. We have another like plummy magenta color. Let's flip them over so you guys can see more of the drills. Um, a very small amount of a very, very dark, like, navy green color. Um, this lovely, I don't know what color that is, robin's egg blue, but slightly darker, I don't know. A dark hunter green color, more tanny beige colors, three of those. A uh, dark dusty rose, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, a darker olive green, a lighter olive green, an even lighter olive green, and more rhinestones. This is a slightly lighter pink than the first ones that we have, so that'll be interesting. I'm guessing those are going to be mixed in with the flowers. Um, and more of these salmony pink colors. You can tell, like, obviously this is the color palette and a little bit of blue at the end. So those are all of the colors. Okay, I want to figure out where all of these rhinestones go. So this is going to be 24. That's interesting. There is, oh, there's DMC on the coat. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom out. There are DMC numbers on the actual canvas. Okay, there we go. We zoomed in on the legend. So it does actually have DMC codes on the actual legend. They're just not on the individual bags. Um, so I'm basically going to have to go through and each of the bags basically just has the number on it. So I think I'm going to go through and I'm going to be that person where I'm actually going to go through and label all of my containers in my organizer with the symbols, but most of them are just letters, which is much appreciated. So the, uh, rhinestone -y ones are four and 24. So it's going to be the red with the white dot and it's going to be E. And while we're up close and personal, look how clear all of those symbols are, yes, there's a lot of glare because um, the transparent coating is still on there, but it looks like, let's see. So this color, the red with the white dot, so that is going to be the lighter pink color. And then E is the other rhinestone-y. Oh, and that's mixed in. Okay, so it's gonna be like edging on a lot of the flowers, like the flower petals. So this kit is called Flowering Skull and the artist is Ali Gulick. Um, I hope I'm saying that right, and I do like that they feature the artist directly on the canvas, on the website. Um, and looking through their inventory, almost all of their diamond painting kits range between $35 and $45. 
um, which is a really decent price because to me that kind of gives you like a mid-range price point which to me tells me that it's going to be higher quality but more affordable for people um, as in it's not going to be like huge uh, but in my opinion this is all poured glue it feels super sticky there are no rivers in it whatsoever the rendering of it is super crystal clear I cannot wait to see what it looks like finished. But like I said, so the pricing is pretty good, but I do have a 20% off coupon for you guys, which is down in the description. So that brings it down to a way reasonable price if I do say so myself. And I personally think this is a very high quality kit. Um, the drills, I honestly didn't see any trash drills mixed in or any little like pieces. Everything looked fully formed. Everything looked uniform. I didn't see any like air bubbles. Everything looked fantastic. So. Thank you so much to Crafties for reaching out to me because I am thoroughly impressed, very impressed with your product. Um, and I might pick this up. This is a good like summery piece and I feel like it'll be quick. It's around, it'll go pretty quickly. So I kind of want to do this. And maybe I will give you guys a review once I finish this because I think this will only take not very long at all to complete. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.